as the battle uh, battle for Bihar intensifies, speculations about uh, a possible coming together of Manji and the BJP seems to be clearing out. With Manji loyalist Narendra Singh confirming that they have the Prime Minister Narendra Modi's support and blessings. Singh also confident of uh, the Manji faction coming out a clear winner in the floor test in the assembly. The BJP meanwhile has gone ahead and said that support for Nitish Kumar will be decided on the floor of the house and not in the JDU's party office. Earlier, the JDU had accused Manji of playing into the hands of the BJP ahead of the assembly elections, while the BJP kept its cards close to its chest, saying that the party was observing the developments in Bihar very closely. So there you see it, not really wanting to comment, uh, but you walked out with a smile. Well, the Manji camp says that uh, the Chief Minister has Prime Minister Narendra Modi's uh, support. Narendra Singh has in fact said that we met with the PM and we have his blessings. And my colleague Rohit Singh now joins me live from Patna. Rohit, the hectic political parley is on on both sides, but that meeting uh, with the governor at 1.30 this afternoon could perhaps, uh, you know, indicate which way the political fortunes of Bihar are turning out to be? Well, Rishika, Nitish Kumar camp is making the first move to stake claim to form the government. Yesterday we saw they handed over the letter of support of 130 MLAs uh, to the governor office. And today Nitish Kumar along with Sharad Yadav and Lalu uh, Prasad are personally going to come here along with 130 MLAs at this Raj Bhavan outside which I am standing. And 130 they are scheduled to meet Kesina Tripathi and they will be staking claim to form the next government in the state. Now all eyes are on the governor as to what will be his next plan of action. Because what we are being told right now is that Manji has also sought some uh, uh, appointment with, uh, with the, uh, with the, uh, with the uh, governor of uh, Bihar, but no time has been fixed as of now. So all eyes are now on the governor, whether he will invite Nitish Kumar to form the next government or will he give the incumbent CM Jitana Maji a chance to prove his majority on the floor of the house. But one news that we are getting at uh, this point of time is that the meeting that was scheduled, that had happened two days back, the JDU legislature party meeting that was convened by Sharad Yadav in which Nitish Kumar was elected as the leader of the legislature party, that meeting has been challenged. In fact, one JDU MLA Rajeshwar Raj, he is a rebel JD MLA. He has filed a writ petition in the Patna High Court short a while back. And, and he has claimed that this meeting that was called by Yada Sharad Yada is unconstitutional meeting and they had no power to elect Nitish Kumar as the new leader of the legislature party. So that writ has been filed in the Patna High Court, though no time has been fixed. But what we are hearing is that 2 p.m. is when the Patna High Court will hear that uh, writ petition. All right, uh, Rohit, those are interesting political developments uh, that you are in fact breaking to us at this point in time that uh, a party MLA who was in fact present at that meeting 48 hours ago that had elected um, Nitish Kumar as the head of the legislative party has in fact that meeting in fact the constitutionality of that meeting and that election has in fact been challenged in the Patna High Court as we speak uh, but Rohit I'd just like to draw your attention to uh, you know developments that have taken place in New Delhi in the last uh, uh, 48 hours after uh, you know the current chief minister met with Prime Minister Narendra Modi it does appear that Manji's tone and tenor has you know completely changed his spirit perhaps uh, has been emboldened after that uh, meeting with Prime Minister Narendra Modi and uh, Narendra Singh in fact coming out clearing the air saying that uh, Manji in fact has uh, the BJP support. Well, Rishika, at this point of time, BJP has made its stand very clear. Now, they are not going to meddle in this uh, politics that is going on between the uh, in between J two factions of JDU, Nitish camp and Manji camp. They are just simply waiting and watching. But one thing that they have made clear to Jitan Ram Manji after the meeting with Prime Minister and several BJP leaders is that if you can cobble up 30 to 35 MLAs, then we right. can think of or uh, supporting you or not. That's the clause that has been said by uh, by uh, by the BJP in okay. the in, in, in Delhi that if you can get 30 35 MLAs with you then we can think of uh, whether we All need right. to support you or not but before that BJP is not going to take any action they are just waiting for Manji to muster his strength
All right, the BJP there uh, giving a clear message to the incumbent chief minister that if you can get uh, 35 to 40 MLAs, if you can in fact prove the support of that number, only then will the BJP jump into the fray. That's the latest information uh, that Rohit Singh is in fact bringing to us uh, from Patna. Thanks Rohit for joining us uh, with that update.